sitting on the edge of my bed. I rocked back and forth, staring at the locked doorknob and impatiently waiting. My skin felt raw and dry from staying in the shower so long and using insurmountable amounts of soap. It was already 7 p.m., according to my iPhone that sat upon my nightstand, and my mother said she'd be back by 6. Choosing to have a girl's night out, she opted to leave me at home with her boyfriend of six months, a well-to-do man named Virgil Raymond. I was 16 years old and didn't understand why I needed someone to watch me while she was out. It wasn't like I was mischievous or never did what I was told. In fact, it was the opposite. I had straight A's, took mostly advanced classes at Inglewood High School, and never forgot to perform any chores she delegated to me. Yet she allowed Virgil to convince her I needed watching. I tried to go along with it, staying in the comfort of my room and not acknowledging him too much. Although a nice man, he was weird to me. His energy was predatory, but since he hadn't done or said anything out of order and had only treated my mother and me to nice dinners, modest shopping sprees, and a couple trips, all within their six-month relationship, I had nothing to report to my mama. That all changed tonight, though. When he knocked on my door an hour ago and barged in before I even said he was welcome to enter, he tried to play it smooth, starting conversation with me and asking me what I was doing on my laptop. It then graduated to him sitting on my bed and placing a hand on my jean-clad thigh. But when I wasn't receptive to more, he threw all he had done for me and my lonely mother, his words, in my face.